Hi Scorpio, it's Elle. I hope everybody is doing well. Welcome to the new space. <laughs> I worked on it all morning for you. Um, actually, we get really great sunlight in this space in the morning early, so I can't wait for tomorrow morning to even just show you how much more beautiful it is with that light coming through. But it is a beautiful space. I'm very grateful for the space. We have actually space here. Um, and I'm so grateful for me to have my own little space here for just tarot that's separate from the living room um, or bedroom, right? Um, just so we can keep the family vibe separate from the tarot energy too. So I'm very grateful. I've cleansed the energy. I've cleansed all my cards this morning. Um, our house was blessed by one of my um, good friends and uh, cleansed as well. So good vibes, good vibes. I'm loving it. It just feels great in here. I wish you were right here with me, okay? <laughs> uh, anyway, so I want to get a love message and a regular message in before uh, I get going today because I am still unpacking and trying to get things done. So I am... Uh, <clears throat> focusing on getting two out and collective readings done. And then the rest of the afternoon is cleaning up still and, and still having to uh, unpack and all that good stuff. So, but I wanted to spend some time with you and show you the new space. Yay. All right, guys. So before we get started, if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a new video, go ahead and go ahead, excuse me, and hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share, share your love and support. As always, please keep it positive. If you would like a personal reading, that information will be in the description box below. How to reach me, how to make a payment. Please send your payments um, or yeah, payment via Venmo or Cash App. Um, and don't forget to your questions for the reading. Um, what else, what else, what else? I know I've said it before, but this time I mean it since we're in a space and I'm getting going. I feel like it is probably, um, hopefully we'll be more in more of the space where I am probably going to take a break from personal readings in about three weeks to a month. So for a while. So again, personal readings are still up for now. Um, but I'm not going anywhere off YouTube. I just plan on being more focused on getting more videos out on YouTube as opposed to having to create the balance between personals and YouTube and all that stuff because of my other um, job. So let's go ahead and get into it, Scorpio. Um, if you'd like to donate, these are free readings. Donations are much appreciated and to anybody that has helped us through uh, challenges and the things that we've been going through lately. Um, I love and appreciate you guys so, so much. We're moved, we're safe. I'm so grateful um, and just so grateful to have had the love and support that we've had through the challenges that I've had with just trying to pick myself back up and, and getting back into life uh, after cancer. Um, also, if you don't have Venmo or Cash App, I do have a GoFundMe link in the description box below. That's just, again, Life After Cancer, go find me if you want to help a sister out with some gas money or groceries every once in a while, whatever, right? That's there if you'd like to donate. I am a single mom, so anyway, trying to rebuild my life again. So that's there if anybody would like to. No pressure, not begging. It's just there if you feel like this reading was awesome and you want to throw in something there. All right, so I love you guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides. Please help me provide Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also, protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Archangel Michael, please block any negative energy being sent our way. Send it back into the universe, into nothingness. Amen. I don't know. I forgot what 1212 means. And this came out. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget to say it for you guys. But it came out um, before I started this reading, before I was going to do a reading for you last night. Um, but honestly, I don't know if I'm going to post it. You guys always tell me to post it. This was an intense reading. It went on for like 45 minutes. It kicked my butt and, and somebody that somebody's dealing with energetically, there's been some type of energetic battle. I don't even want to get into that energy, but it was crazy. Whew, right? So Scorpios, <clears throat> I feel your pain. I feel like <clears throat> for some of us, communication has been really fucking with 
you know, vibrations, uh, especially moving through retrograde, right? So, because my throat just got scratchy. So, there could be situations where there's communication issues or some level of communication for some of you that um, has brought some type of challenge or setback. But I was also getting the energy of, you know, don't let your setbacks or challenges um, emotionally kick your butt to where you're not able to keep moving forward, right? Whatever the setback is, I, the message I got before the reading was just to keep going. And I don't know if this is going to resonate with 1212, um, but it's again, like if it was, if you face a setback, well, it's okay, right? Um, just keep going. I also found this card. Um... And I feel like for some of you, it's, it's just it's just an energy that I'm picking up on. If somebody has gone through something recently or faced some type of setback, you know, you've let it make you depressed to the point or upset to the point where you're not moving forward. And Spirit wants you to know, especially if you've been praying about it, to move forward, um, that you're going to be okay. I feel like you're going to be even more blessed than you were before. Right, sometimes things happen for a reason and we don't see them in the middle of it. This was hidden too, soulmate. Um, it was lost from the rest of the deck. I still don't know where this deck is currently right now. It's in a bag somewhere with stuff. <laughs> but it was definitely not with any of the rest of these, this romance oracle deck. Um, Scorpio, I feel like there's a soulmate. This is either you or your person. There could be a distance because I'm getting the energy of somebody feeling lost without their soulmate, their person, right? Maybe this is somebody realizing this is your soulmate, your person, like I feel lost without you. Um, and so that's there, whether it's you or your person, somebody does feel lost without the other. All right. Um, feather. Oof. Okay. I always see feathers when I'm moving. It's like source wants to connect with me and let me know you're moving in the right direction. We're here. We're protecting you. It happens. I also get messages through birds. So the feathers don't shock me. I love it actually. This, you could be getting signs already. And the reason I felt compelled to say this, it says someone you know is undependable and insincere. With this energy showing up, Scorpio, there is somebody around you that is undependable and insincere. Whoever this is, it's going to come out. I do feel like with that showing up, we'll clarify. Um, it kind of feels like you've already been sent some type of a message here in regards to whatever this energy is and why they're insincere or just feeling like you can't depend on them. There's something off. Okay. What other messages do we have in regards to this reading for Scorpio today? Did I say Archangel Michael, thank you for blocking any negative energy. We love you and appreciate you. Continue to do so. Send it back into the universe, into nothingness. Amen, amen. If I did, I said it twice. I had to fix this little broken wing. All right, we take care of each other over here. <laughs> he loves me. I love you too, Michael. Okay, so... <laughs> With the candle, the beetle, good fortune, you will be shown the way, right? So, um, Scorpio, it's like signs all over the table, but amazing. I don't know why I'm getting Egyptian energy with this beetle, because it's not even a scarab. Interesting, but good fortune. Somebody could have ancient Egyptian heritage, whoever this is. There's signs you're going to be shown the way. This is possibly even connected to some type of a spiritual gift that you have. You or your person. All right. That's definitely there. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success with the valley. And I did see get back to the basic, basic excuse me, before I started this reading too. So there is great... Um, there's success in having strength, right? And per deep personal strength and peace within yourself. You know, that's like the getting back to the basics. What? That's the solid foundation. That is the foundation, Scorpio. This is what you're going to be shown here that is going to assure success. So for some of you, again, remember energy is interchangeable. There could be energies in your life or showing up in your life. Maybe you're questioning, should I, should I not? What's going on here, Right. Is this person dependable or not? If you're feeling like they're not, you know, it's okay to back away, back off, whatever. Um, you're going to be shown the way. Something is going to be illuminated to you with the light here, with a candle. 
All right, so let's see. I feel like I'd like to clarify a little bit in regards to who this energy is, spirit. Hmm. Yeah, if you're not careful, there's a tower connected to this person's energy because I was getting ready to say, can we clarify here? And we've got the tower showing up. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio, sun and rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. I feel like I got to get prayed up. Really protect your energy. Cleanse your energy. Cleanse everything around you. If this person's in your motherfucking car, cleanse the damn car, right? Whatever's going on here, I don't know. Somebody's got some stink energy. <laughs> I said cleanse the car. Maybe you already have. You might have been like, what in the fuck? Let me get the sage out. Let me get the spray out. Something going on here. It's like you're picking up on some kind of foul energy. Ooh, somebody even smells like, um, like they give off this like sulfur smell or something weird every once in a while. It's like their sweat is like Satan. Dude, who is this? Okay, let me stop. I'm getting all kinds of visuals and smells. Dear God, okay. <laughs> who is this undependable, insincere, insincere energy showing up for Scorpio? I keep getting reminded that I need to find the pendulum, pull it out. We need, here's the tower. All right, there's a reason. Four of Wands, this is somebody um, either who has been in your home or is trying to create some type of um, imbalance in your life, okay? Um, because this is also mind, body, and soul, right? Being at peace, assuring success. There's a tower here. Again, again it could be just simply drama, insincere, somebody that causes chaos, somebody that talks a lot behind people's backs. I mean, there's who knows, right? Tower energy though, the number 16 could be significant, could be connected to the date, all right? What's today's date? Is it the 16th? The 16th just passed. Where it's, it's like, I don't even know what day it is, right? This move has fucked me up. All right, so um, I can't fix this. This is, there's a little knot here. I feel like it's gonna work either way. I wanna ask the pendulum if this is somebody that you're around daily. Oh, come on, sweet baby, Jesus. All right, not talking shit, we love you. And your little gentle, chubby baby cheeks, okay. All right, we're gonna use it like this and then I'm gonna work on it later. All right, is this someone that Scorpio spends time with frequently? Who is this person? Why are they trying to create a tower? Is this someone that they spend time with frequently? No. Okay. No, it's not. So there is some kind of connection here. Maybe something happened on the 16th. Maybe there's something significant about the 16th specifically here, okay? This person is insincere about something, all right? You're gonna be shown the way you are. You already have, or you already have. Here's my communication fuck offs again. There's something about money, stability, greed, all right, associated with this energy. I just saw the two of pentacles and trying to get you out of balance. I'm being drawn to use a couple different decks I haven't used in a while either. So Scorpio, I wanna pull your person's energy your energy because I feel like this is the like yeah because I feel the love here there's definitely soulmate vibes going on um what's going on this is going to be my love reading but we got some other you know whatever comes out comes out <laughs> I can't stop it soulmates was flipped upside down I feel like there's a separation the lovers okay there's a mutual and desire mutual desire attraction connection 
compatibility, something going on here, Scorpio. Somebody feels lost. You, whether it's you or your person, it's like missing. Yeah, here's the Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away, whether it was you or someone else, and now there's just this energy of like really missing someone. Um, I feel like this is your person. I said your person's energy, right? We're doing your person first, so let's do that. Eight of Cups, emotional, emotional missing you um nine of wands this person why did they walk away this person's been through a lot okay with the nine of wands This person sees things differently in life, right? This is a hangman. This is this is getting a different perspective. Sometimes this is what this can represent. But I also feel like in this energy, Scorpio, this person sees things differently because of what they've been through. They even walk away. They walk away. There's something. Maybe they're scared of connection. They can't communicate something they've been through because my throat just got weird. And look, okay, you know what's interesting? It's like his head's missing here in this card, right? It's not connected to the body. This person's in, like stuck. Look, they look at the world differently. There's a disconnect too from like physical, their physical body and mental. What's going on here? It's almost this energy of like, I'm feeling like somebody who's seen too much, right? experience too much seen too much what else do we have in regards to this energy showing up for scorpio five of swords there's some type of conflict there's two people here in this deck in this card feeling emotionally conflicted there's some type of conflict here um, in regards to emotions and connections uh, personal connections and so we've got the tower and then the hierophant okay so feeling conflicted here there's the tower. Here's the tower again. And then we've got, you know, the Hierophant represents marriage, um, commitment, traditional style type relationships. There's been some type of conflict that happened. They're feeling conflicted and they've had to walk away. But this doesn't have anything to do with you. This has something to do with the way the world, this person sees the world, the things that this person has been through. I need to clarify because this is interesting. Why do we have, uh, somebody's trying to protect you. I just saw temperance energy walking away, trying to protect you by walking away. Okay. There's the 10 of cups. They clearly see you as the 10 of cups. This is strange. Eight of cups again. I can't make it up. Walking away to protect you, feeling worried they can't protect you because the Seven of Wands was in reverse. What other messages do we have coming out in regards to this reading for Scorpio? Somebody can't change something here, okay? This is what you don't see and what's not coming out. There's something here involving Scorpio Cancer energy. Um, in regards to this Tower energy, there's something that cannot be changed. There's something they cannot change. This is why we have the Four of Cups. This person, when they walked away from you, Scorpio, it was, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. <sighs> Not what they wanted to do. Feel it oh my gosh and it says flood there's just so much emotion here there's so much emotion with this eight of eight of cups with this card too i knew i was feeling drawn this person is very sad they've had to walk away from you wow this is what you don't know maybe this is what they're not communicating and then and that we've got the lost soulmate 
somebody feels lost without you, you or your person or both, we did have the lover. So there's that energy of just, ooh, eight of, eight of swords um, and the devil. Oh, shit. Somebody is stuck here. Um, there's been interference here with something very... Um, not good. I don't know what this is. What is this devil energy? Why are we sh why are we getting this for Scorpio? In regards to this reading with the Eight of Swords. The devil's gonna interfere. The devil's trying to interfere. They're trying to protect you. Somebody they feel like is evil, the devil. They're associating something bad. There's something bad connected. It doesn't have to be the devil. There's something bad here. Capricorn energy. It could be involving a Capricorn trying to interfere. This person's trying to protect you. There's the death card. It could even be that serious. This person could have some type of fear here. There's something in regards to money. Here's the Ten of Pentacles that you could be in danger if they stay connected to you. What is this? Even die. It's like that's why this person feels so emotional or felt so emotional walking away. Or maybe they just feel like they're too toxic. This isn't making sense, Spirit. Tell me more. There's the Tower, the Ten of Pentacles. They're bound to something toxic. Connect. It could even be a marriage because the Ten of Pentacles is showing up, and that's twice. Here's the Tower, bound to something toxic. Something's going on here. There's a mutual. This person wants to come back and like just take you by the hand, right? Pick you up, whatever. Be your knight in, knight in shining armor. I know that sounds corny, but it just, this is like, I'm sorry I left you there, babe, right? I'm back. Whatever happened. There's towers involving money. Interference. Is this person coming back for Scorpio? There's the moon card. If you haven't had communication, there's there's communication coming. With the moon card here, it's like things that haven't been revealed will be revealed or will be coming to light and communication coming in regards to the situation between the two of you. What's caused the separation, the interference, third party energy. If it's not third party, a person, it's something interfering with a the connection. There's protection again. Somebody, this was in reverse, didn't trust their intuition in the past in regards to somebody that they worked with either. Maybe this is the tower, okay? And sincere friend, there's been some sort of a tower. There's moving away from chaos. There's a woman and a child here getting in a belt, moving away from chaos. Um, I don't know. All I'm getting is this person's trying to protect you, Scorpio. I feel like they're going to communicate that or there's some type of communication coming in to bring you better understanding. Yeah, they do see you as like the empress, right? The one. The It's like somebody's hurting. They miss their soulmate. Um, there's the magician. Somebody's trying to manifest you back or manifest the situation where the two of you can be together here. Let's see. What... Um,
they're working on ending this karmic cycle. This person is cleaning up a lot is what I'm getting. They're cleaning up a lot in their life. Let's pull an Oracle card first. So maybe it's like they're trying to clean up a lot. There's things maybe you don't know. Again, with the moon card. Um, or they're trying to take care of something. Somebody, there could be a death. There could be a, a family member or a death. Or someone being sick. That's the moon card. Somebody having to take care of family. Um... The importance of sleep here is important to this person was like, go, go, going, go, go, going. This person's having a chance to rest and it's giving them a chance to really think about things that have happened between the two of you and they're really missing you. Blinded by bias. They were blinded by some type of an energy here, a bias energy in regards to you, maybe, and, and the way they handled it. Um, maybe they thought this was a person that was giving them bias. I almost said bad. Bias advice, but they gave them bad advice. Be of service came out too. This person is like, they're, yeah, be of service. They're, they're having to be of service in regards to either family or something here. Three of these came out. Time to rise. There's the king energy. So this person is standing in a very masculine energy, even if it's a feminine energy, strong energy. Um, there's something that they, your path alone that they've had to handle alone. Whether it, they were afraid it would affect you in some type of a negative way or they just have to handle it and come back. Um... But I feel like there's this fear of, like, maybe they thought they could walk away and then be done and they just realized, well, I I don't think I can just walk away. I care too much. Here's the be of service. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on here. <sighs> Somebody is having to do something here. All right, so how do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel? Just saw the uh, justice card, so that means they want things to work out, Scorpio. How do they feel about Scorpio spirit? Let me shuffle one more time. How do they feel about Scorpio? So we kind of got what's going on behind the scenes really that we don't know about. Um, they're really doing some soul searching about how they feel. They're stressed out. There's anxiety in regards to being separated here. <clears throat> All right, so somebody's really doing some soul searching in regards to how they feel about you. Okay, Hermit Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, uh, Virgo, and then the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, trying to manifest a situation, trying to make things, uh, like, create a situation here where the two of you can come back together if there was some type of a separation. This is how they're feeling. And then there's the moon card, knowing they need to let you know the truth in regards to a situation, Empress energy. They know you deserve it. They look at you and hold you in high regard. They've invested in something they can't, um, am I holding this upside down? Let me do that again, I'm confused. They've got a lot of responsibility, okay? They're, they're trying to take control over whatever's going on in their life. There's the energy of even just maintaining a friendship or a casual connection with you, wanting that, if they can have that still. All right, what other messages do we have? 
Queen of Cups. Oh, look, they love you. Two of Pentacles, or two of, uh, two of Pentacles wanting to bring balance where there hasn't been balance here in a situation with the Queen of Cups. Even if you're a masculine energy, I'm picking up this as your energy, right? With the Queen of Cups. And then this is having a lot of love for you. Feelings, emotional, a strong bond, a connection, wanting a new relationship or starting a new relationship. So if there are things, been, they, yeah, they want to tell you the truth here about some things. Uh, they're freeing themselves. This person is currently freeing themselves from something that um, they've had a wake up call in their life. They're freeing themselves from something. They're being shown the way. Okay. What other messages do we have? There's the actor. Somebody's having to pretend that card literally says actor with the four of wands. There could be like literally having to pretend like they're, you know, okay and they're just not right now. It's like written all over their face. Here's the nine of swords, stressed out, anxious. Um, if this person is in another connection, their person knows they're in love with you. Yeah. There's fear here in regards to options. Somebody's worried and concerned. There could be fighting going on. Uh, what other messages? Yeah, with the Six of Swords, there's confusion about moving to calmer waters where there has been. There's been I feel like if it's not confusion, it's been indecisive energy. But then we've got fulfillment, the Nine of Cups. It's like somebody sees you as just kind of this energy of wishes coming true. Soulmate. It's like the soulmate. You are like the perfect person for this person's energy. All right. Why do we have you will be shown the way? We've got a breakthrough coming in regards to some type of manipulative situation where there's been lies, okay? You're gonna be shown the way, whatever that is. If it's not this situation, it's just period, period. It's coming through. What other message do we have in regards to you'll be shown the way with a light? This is in regards to a feminine air sign energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There could have been um, lies, something, uh, someone manipulating a situation here. All right, what about good fortune? What messages do you have that you'd like to share with Scorpio in regards to good fortune coming their way before I end the reading? Because I am kind of doing the pee pee dance. All right. Okay, you're gonna get a good message. Uh, it's a brand new beginning, good fortune. So uh, trust your intuition moving this way. Uh, some of you that are starting over, remember when I said setbacks? If you've been set back and you're having to start over, there is a message coming in here um of a new start a fresh start and good fortune you could be receiving a message from some type of a job opportunity person that would like to work with you doing something partner up whatever this is this is a message though um with good fortune it's not a message you don't want to hear this is a message that's going to make you happy um this is a start, a fresh start that's going to bring a lot of good fortune and happiness into your life. So whatever the setback is that you've been experiencing, Scorpio, just know, moving forward, again, sometimes things happen for a reason, so something better can replace or be put in that energy. Are we just simply, you know, are put in a direction for a purpose and we don't ever figure it out until years later or whatever, what it'll make sense, right? At some point, um, final outcome though for Scorpio and their soulmate before we end the reading, cause this has really been heavy, um, energetically as far as being, yeah, separated. We've got the hermit energy Virgo that does represent somebody doing some soul searching and looking at things differently. I did see and you, here's the Queen of Cups. So, the hangman, somebody looking at you differently, getting a different perspective in regards to you. Again, I do feel like this is somebody that thought they could walk away from you and realized they can't. Yeah, here's the message coming in too. And this could be the message. This is fun, flirty messages starting off this way if there's been separation. But this is also... Um, I feel like this is also... You're going to be shown the way with messages. This is going to be the sign. Um... Uh, I feel like the message that I'm getting is don't be nervous because this is what came out with a new beginning and good fortune, right? So again, I feel like 
this is a good message. Final outcome. So it does look like even if there has been, this person is tying up whatever ends, whatever they're having to do to be of service here and also feeling like they have to protect you from something, someone, they're handling that. They don't want you to look at them differently either. It's like they want, if you view them in a high light and high regard now, they want that to always be that way. Um, one more justice energy things working out wanting things to work out things working out even universe it's like things working out behind the scenes because this is a soulmate energy there's a lot of passion there's a lot of love and there's a lot of sexual desire there scorpio one more again really doing some soul searching this person expect communication and when you do i feel like it's going to be fast moving if it's been slow or more communication more intimate communication more heartfelt communication yeah this person doesn't like it without you all right i love you guys i hope this message was helpful for someone until next time lots of love and light again if you'd like a personal reading that information's in the description box below um until next time bye